Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a trifold brochure design in PowerPoint. You can see here I have added different images here and with a color combination of orange and dark gray. And you can change your headlines, type your own text here and put your company details. And if you want, you can add more text at the bottom. So let's see how to create this yellow and or orange and gray brochure design in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to design, slide size, select custom slide size. And from the drop down, select A4 size and click OK. Then go to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle shape outline make it no outline and the width you can give as 3.62 press ctrl d to duplicate and change the color to some other lighter color and just put it here and add one more by pressing ctrl d and change this color and later on we can change the color I'm going to add some images and I'm not adding the images directly. Instead, I'll add some uh, rectangle shapes. Within rectangle shapes, I'm going to add the image. For that, go to insert shapes, select a rectangle and draw this much rectangle. Shape outline, make it no outline and you can give some different color for the time being. And then you can right mouse click, go to format shape and under fill select picture or text fill or picture or texture fill select this one by default this image has been selected if you want to select some different image you can just go there select the path and give i'll just say i have downloaded some images i'll select that and you can see here this particular image has been added here and this blue rectangle i'm just going to change the color to white and then I'm going to add some triangles go to shapes and here you can select a triangle just draw a triangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and shape fill I'm going to use some orange color and either using this arrow or alt or right key you can just rotate it and put it here and press ctrl d to duplicate and add a different color to this one i'm going to use this blue gray and rotate it the other side using the alt and the right or the left arrow key and put it this side i'm going to bring this here and you can just increase the size like this you can do it or if you want the yellow here you can just make like this also and just bring this board down and we can add some more also let me reduce the size of this uh, yellow triangle And I'm going to increase the size of this gray triangle. Make it somewhat down. And you can just touch this one. Something like this. Or you can zoom in and then you can adjust it more. You can see here it's not. I will just make it somewhat down here and this one I will select I will so this is okay let me just fit to slide now I'm just going to add some more triangles so I'm going to add one image here this side so I'm going to go to insert again shapes select the rectangle again 
or you can just simply copy this one control D and put it here and then you can go and change the image I'll just go and select I will say street maybe 2 so this is the street 2 or let me just select maybe street 3 is good one yeah so this is my second image now what I'm going to do I'm just going to copy this one control D and go to format you can just simply rotate it flip horizontal and put the other side and this also press control D duplicate and rotate again flip horizontal and add it here the same way what we did and I'm just going to increase the size of this image so you can see here my second image is also ready and then I'm just going to copy this and this this three one two and three press ctrl D and put the other side the third one see we can almost getting closer to our design I'm going to change the image of this one select this go to file I'll just say street 4 which is the time square I've just selected this one or if you want the image to be here time square you can just uh, put it there and then I'm just going to add some uh, text here and some more say uh, rectangles for example sorry the triangles I'll just select some more press ctrl D to duplicate I will just reduce the size and I'm going to fill some different color here I will just select uh, different color or different picture and I'm going to just select some different uh, maybe I will select something like this and here you have to make it remove this one untick rotate with shape and just bring it here I will just rotate it and go to format shape outline give a white outline a thicker one so I'll just make it this much and I will put it here and you can make some more again press ctrl D of this gray one reduce the size a smaller one and rotate it and put it here likewise you can do for others also this different different places I'm just going to select this one and I will put it here maybe or I'll put it maybe this side and I will rotate it and then I can just change some different image or that's not a good image so you can do all this thing and then this also should be white this also should be white and let me just add some text go to insert text I will just say a title here or you can just say brochure I'm just giving title and select some good fonts and increase the size and keep it here you can add here some points go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the small oval shape while holding the shift key and give the same color which is the dark gray shape outline make it no outline and then you can insert your text here I'll just say type your text here or the bullet points whatever you say let me just reduce the size 
and I will just use Century Gothic. Make sure to use only one font or maximum two fonts. Don't go for multiple or different fonts. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. This is second and this is third. I'm just going to select this Ctrl D. I will make this as a yellow or orange. Increase the size a little bit. Rotate it and put it here one. Press Ctrl D and this you can put it this side. And you can change the color or a picture so let me just add more text here now i'm going to add some more text uh, at the bottom here in the middle i'll say text box i will just equals to lorem within brackets one it will give me some latin text so i'm going to add two paragraphs here reduce the size Change the font name again, Century Gothic. Still reduce it to maybe 10 and justify it. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, add one more here and add some titles. I'm just going to select this, Ctrl D. make it bold reduce the size control d and here also you can just put it here and then you can add some more titles here i'll just let press control d to duplicate i'll just say right and if you want you can make it italic also and then you add the company details here control d i will just say this is my phone number and then i'm just going to add my email press control d i'll just say email at gmail.com and the company address let me just reduce the size format align left and then you can go to insert icons and you need to have an active internet connection and you must be having office i think 365 for these icons the older version like 2010 2015 or 13 or 2007 they don't have this particular icons here so i'm just going to select any icons for example let me just select this icon i'll go to business or communication I will select maybe this one and some location I will select maybe this so three inserted and you can give the same color here and then start reducing the size this is here location this is email and this is telephone if you want you can give more text or you can put the other side also if you want
and here also you can add more text so let me just copy some more text here I will make it orange, reduce it. So you can add some text here, control D. You can add some text here, control D. You can add some text here by changing the font size, color. And if you want, you can just tilt it, sorry, a little bit. And you can give a outline also, maybe a white outline. Reduce the size. So you can see here our design is almost ready. And the last part of this, I'm just going to insert shapes, select a rectangle, draw a rectangle, a smaller one, shape outline, make it no outline, and I'm going to select gradient fill. And I'm making it two stops only. And one stop, I will just say like this, which is linear left this will be a gray color and this will be white color and transparency i will make it fully 100 percent and this also i'll make the transparency so much more just to give a folding effect you can see here if you want you can reduce further and let me just increase the transparency also. This is okay. Press Ctrl D to duplicate and put it the other side. You can see here you got some folding effect here you can see here this is try for the paper one this is paper two and this is paper three and if you want you can add more triangles here so that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.